Hey guys, welcome back. Thursday morning, trip to the thrift. The sun is out. How can you not feel good about what we've got ahead for today? Guys, it's going to be a stack of different op shops. If you want to learn a thing or two about how to make money on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, that's exactly what I do every single day. And I put out this YouTube channel, three videos every single week to show you how I go about doing it. And hopefully you can learn a thing or two from it. Uh, hopefully, guys, after scaring these Gold Coast op shops today, we can find and bring back home some really cool stuff. I'm going to show you what I buy. I'm going to show you what it goes on to sell for. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like it. Put a comment below and uh, give the video a like. It'd be great to have a chat. Let's dive into it. First op shop coming right up. Guys, truly a huge way to kick off the day. Op shop number one, we are done here. Now, the soccer jerseys were just the biggest come up in there, no doubt about it. There were a couple of other things that I want to take you through before we get into the jerseys. I found these shoes that I thought were quite nice. These are the Adidas Fusion, I believe. They're the US 7, they're black and pink, and they're very, very nice. I paid 15 for these, but as you can see, they're in really, really good condition. So I'm gonna go for about 50 to 60 bucks, like I do with all my shoes, and uh, try and make myself, again, another $30 profit. The Adidas brand is a good one, guys. This wetsuit, this is the uh, the O'Neill Psycho 2, and when you do a search for O'Neill Psycho 2 in the wetsuits, uh, it's worth about 550 to 600 dollars. Now, if you watch the recent What Sold video, I actually sold a Patagonia wetsuit worth 650 dollars for 200 bucks. So, look, I'm thinking very much the exact same thing here with this one. I reckon I'm going to push about 200 to 250 dollars. Uh, we'll go and buy it now. I know based on the Patagonia that probably 200 is more the ballpark figure, um, but this one is in very good condition, and it is the time of the year. There are a lot of people searching for these wetsuits, so I'm very happy to find a very expensive wetsuit. There's a lot of different ranges, a lot of different price points when it comes comes to the weddies. So to be able to get a top end one here in that uh, O'Neill, I was really happy with that. Now guys, very excited about all of these. How about this? I love, if it's not shoes, I love jerseys. And I've been able to find two Socceroos jerseys here. That one there. Now I believe these actually are genuine. I, I truly do think that they are. This one's a Nike, it's a medium. They're pretty much all medium size and I will be putting them all up onto the website. Um, here's another one here. It's a medium as well, more of a standard. I'm not exactly sure uh, exactly the year. I think it's 27. Um, I found this genuine, genuine Barcelona, FC Barcelona jersey. Look at that. That is actually as good as you can get. Um, this one's a size medium as well. It's got the Aero Swift, um, the actual material. It's, it's yeah, look, it's definitely genuine. Um, embroidery on there as well. I found a Juventus as well. Juve jersey in a size small, Adidas size small. Um, now, I found three of these as well, Plymouth. Um, Plymouth over in the uh, Football League One. Unfortunately, a terrible team uh, in the League One division over there in the European Football League. Um, found the Dortmund jersey as well. Now, Plymouth, I've got three of these jerseys. Um, these are all size mediums. I think Plymouth are coming about 18th. Not a very good side, unfortunately, but I love finding my jerseys and I'll be able to find three different variations of the Plymouth Argyle Football Club. Uh, in a size medium. So nine jerseys, paid about $67 a piece for those. So $95 spent in total. A couple of hats in there as well. I won't show you those, but um, a couple of cheap $2 hats that I like to pick up as well. Um, so we're gonna move on to op shot number two, and I'm very happy with the way things have started out. A stack of jerseys, and just on price, I'm gonna go for about $48.95 free post. Try and sell them for about 40 bucks each. I'll put them on the website for $25 if any of you guys want them. They will be up there right now. So go and check it out. Links are in the description. Uh, let's keep charging. Op shot number two, what a great start to the day. Bye.
guys, I've been full-time thrifting for eight, nine months now, and this is single-handedly the greatest purchase I have ever made. The Jordan 1s found in the thrift for just $30. These things have never been worn. Have a look at the soles on them. They're a US 10, they're a women's pair. Uh, Hot Punch is the name uh, of these, or the color tone of these. Uh, so yeah, US 10 Jordan 1s found in the thrift for $30. Thank you very much. These will go on to sell for about $200. I have absolutely no doubt about it. What an unbelievable find. I've also found these Nike Airs as well. Luminous green in color, women's shoes, no lace. Uh, these are a US size 6 and I thought they were just such a sweet pair of shoes. I've paid an extra $20 there for those, but I just thought I had to because I've never seen them before. They look quite funky and I think they will go on to sell for a really top dollar, maybe 80, 90 bucks based on what I've seen. These as well, these were the Zumba Strongs, um, some, uh, yeah, some Zumba fitness shoes and I've never seen these either. Only an $8 tag on these. Um, I do think I'll be able to push maybe 70 to $80 based on what I saw uh, on the comps and they are in really good condition. There's just a bit to clean off at the toe there. Uh, but these Zumbas are uh, a pretty cool shoe and a really cool colorway as well. So we'll see how we go with those. Three unbelievable pairs of shoes found in the thrift. Um, and you would have seen as well some clothing that I was able to find as well. This is a genuine uh, Adidas uh, Cricket Australia jersey from, I think, 2010, 2011. I've only paid, I think it was $4 for it. It's a size medium. Again, a lot of jerseys being able to be found in today's run. Um, here's a fake uh, Barcelona jersey, no doubt about it. There's nothing genuine about this one, but it does have Neymar Jr. on the back number 11, so I've picked it up. You can sell the fakes pretty easily on Facebook Marketplace for about $25 to $30. At least that's what I do anyway. Uh, a really nice uh, uh, double XL here for the uh, Gold Coast Titans, the local rugby league. Um, this is a really nice uh, jumper coming into winter. Very easy win there. Probably again for Facebook Marketplace. Guys, I always find these. I found them last week. It was Parramatta Eels last week. It's New Zealand Warriors again this week. So there you go. Some footy shorts as well. Um, size, what are they? They're a size medium again. A lot of size mediums found in this run today. Um, they go on to sell for about $25 to $30 on eBay. Uh, and then this one as well. I don't mind finding the racing clothing. It does go on to sell well too. Jim Beam Racing here. This is a t-shirt. I dare say it's a medium based on everything else. Yeah, it's a medium. So that one should go on again for about $30. I'll probably list it $29.99 free post. So guys, a whole heap of sporting related clothing, which I absolutely love. You guys know it. I'll always buy my jerseys when I find them. And then I've also gone ahead and found three unbelievable pair of shoes. The Jordan ones found in the thrift. Have a look at those guys. And yes, they will be on the website if you want to purchase them up at a slightly reduced price. Um, or hit me up on Instagram if I haven't put them up by the time the video drops. Let's keep charging, guys. Option number three. I don't know if we can get any better than today, to be honest, because that was just ridiculous. But we'll dive in and we'll give it our best. We'll see you in there. We are having a day. We are having a very, very good day. I've been able to find some more Jordans, as you would have seen there. Uh, four pairs of shoes and a Brisbane Lions uh, jumper or sweater as well. Just a lightweight sweater, the Brisbane Lions. Here it is here, $5 for this one. Um, I thought that was really nice, and that will go on to sell for about $30 to $35. It's the AFLW, the Women's Football League in the AFL. Um, don't sleep on that sort of stuff. That goes on to sell really, really good. Um, found some Nike shoes here. These were the... 
uh, the Dual Fusion Run 3s. So I sell these for about $40. They're a US size 8 grey. I believe they're a men's shoe. I'll have to do some double research into it. Uh, but about 40 bucks for those. They're not too bad. Um, these are more of like a skateboarding type shoe as well. These are the Project BAs, um, Nike Skateboarding. Um, the soles were very good on those. So that's why I ended up going for these ones. Um, they're a US size 11, a men's US size 11. Really cool pair of shoes. I paid $8 for those. They weren't too bad. Uh, and then I found these as well that I really want to do some really deep cleaning to. I really want to get the sugar soap and the gumption into these and see if I can't clean them up to be, you know, pristine white condition. Uh, they are a very good shoe in the Adidas range and they're a US size 8. So not too bad. I think I'd be able to push maybe $50 to $60 if I can get them really nice and clean, uh, which I think I might be able to do. And then I found these Jordans as well for $12. I couldn't pass these up, especially after finding the Jordan 1s in the second run. Um, these are a nice pair as well. They're a US size. 11 a 2015 shoe i don't know exactly what jordan they are i haven't yet done my research but for 12 dollars, i wasn't going to be saying no to those so four pairs of shoes a brisbane lion sweater not too bad of a run there i spent 48 dollars uh, but i believe there'll be well over 200 dollars worth of resale value so not too bad for op shop run number three let's finish the day guys this is absolutely one of the best i've had um fingers crossed op shop number four we can finish it off well we'll see you in there Guys, I do get asked quite a bit, how do I do my comp research? How do I actually know what these items go on to sell for? And I use the eBay app. Uh, the eBay app is a great one to be using when you're out in the thrift. It's just a simple scan button that you have to select at the top right hand corner. Uh, and you can actually barcode search any single item that you have your hands on. You can also do a search by the title um, to see what past sales have been made. And that's a really great way to easily work out what your item is worth before you even go to the checkout. So if you are going out thrifting and you are new to thrifting, take the eBay app out with you, download it onto your phone, and basically always do a search for every single item before you buy it. And you'll be in a better chance to know that you're gonna make some profit at the end of the day. So I uh, thought I'd just mention that in this video because I do get asked the question quite a bit. Uh, and that is exactly how I do it. All right, guys, it's been a good day. We've got the last op shop run of the day. And as you can see, we've got a big Salvation Army right in front of us. You might not be able to see that, actually. It's a little far away. And we've got a Lifeline shop right here. So let's see how we go to finish the day. Tell you what guys when you are on you are on it's been a great day fourth op shop all finished up i'm gonna get in the car i'm gonna show you what i picked up i spent 53 dollars so all in all today i will say that i've spent probably about 250 bucks but my goodness there's going to be at least i mean the wetsuit alone was 250 and then i found the jordans they're probably about 200 we're talking probably i reckon about 1500 today it's just been amazing we'll get in the car and i'll show you this last round to round out this uh, pretty good trip to the thrift all right, so guys, uh, Reese's Plumbing. So Reese Plumbing, these t-shirts go on to sell for some very, very good money. I've only paid $5 for this. It's a size medium. It's a 2021 brand new t-shirt, hardly been worn. They sell for $45, these random plumbing shirts. 45 bucks, and I have found probably about seven or eight of them, and they've sold within a sell-through of about 30 days. So you're getting 45 bucks within the space of a month. 
it's a really weird but really good scenario when you're finding your Reese's uh, shirts. Um, okay, now there was 50% off the DVDs. I had a good scour through the DVDs. I was almost going to grab some kids' ones, but in the end, I've gone with seasons one to five of the Kardashians. So not too bad here. Um, I do think that these were going to sell for maybe $35, something like that, and I only paid five bucks. They were two dollars each, so um, ten dollars down to five dollars. I thought that was pretty good. I might make about fifteen to twenty dollars profit. Not too bad. Kardashian actually sell really well out of the DVD bundle that I purchased where it was 60 uh, DVDs the Kardashians seem to move first and all the rest sort of trickled in after that so Kardashians they definitely do sell um, I found these Under Armour golf shoes as well these are a US size 11 I don't really typically buy too many golf shoes but I'm going to give these ones a go they did look like they were in pretty good condition and there was a $10 tag on them so not too bad fits within my ballpark for buying shoes um, guys a ridiculous day for shoes as always I found these Ultra Boosts uh, as well so I'm going to give these a really good clean I think they're a men's US 7.5. I would have liked the size to be a little bit larger. I do want to triple check to make sure they are definitely men's. But um, look, Ultra Boost, Adidas Ultra Boost, $9. Thanks very much. Uh, these are in basically light new condition. These were the Nike Freeze. Um, so I found these. No lace setup. Um, $9 on these. And guys, as you can see, they're in pretty much light new condition. So only a little bit of wear. Uh, $9. I might try and turn that into about 45 bucks, something like that. Uh, and then I've also found these ASICs that I thought were in pretty good condition. They've got the gel base, as you can see down there. You'll always get a little bit more money when you're looking for ASIC shoes. I probably don't speak enough around what I'm looking for when I'm buying my shoes, but that gel base tells me that it's a, a slightly higher up the scale of what shoes are actually worth. So for these ASIC shoes, they're probably more top end. I'm probably going to go about $50 to $60 on these. The soles were a little bit worn, so I might make it $45, $50 based on the sole. Um, only paid $7. You can't say no to that. And then I've also found another one as well, the Shimano's. Now the Shimano cycling boots, these unfortunately were a slightly smaller size, but I couldn't believe just a $7 tag on these. Shimano cycling shoes sell very, very well on eBay. US six and a half is the size on those, but Shimano, probably the best brand for, for cycling. Uh, I've been able to pick up those for just a very cheap $7 price point. So guys, $53 spent there to end the day. Um, like I said, I've probably spent about $250 if I add it all up in my head very quickly right now. Uh, and I do think there'll be upwards of anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500 worth of resale value once I've listed it all back into eBay. So my goodness, a stack of items, a super day of thrifting. It just goes to show, guys, if you're persistent and you keep getting yourself out there into the thrift, you just never know what you'll find. Timing is everything. No doubt if I got into that uh, op shop with the Jordans five to 10 minutes later, they probably would have gone. She said they literally just hit the shelf the minute I walked in. So it is a bit of luck sometimes, but that is always part of the game. And the luck has been on my side today. It's been a very good day. I'm very, very happy about it. Guys, I will be putting up a lot of this stuff onto the website, thehouseofmumba.com.au, all the journey that I picked up, all the shoes as well. I'll throw the Jordans up and I'll always reduce them off what they are on eBay. So it's well worth your time jumping on, having a look at the website if you do want anything that you've seen out of these Trips to the Thrift episodes. And it supports the channel, so I can't thank you enough for it. Um, appreciate you tuning in, guys. Look forward to catching you in the next one. I'm going to go home and list all these up. Thanks again. See you later.